All right, so we had a couple of game one starts, some round two series, starting with the Cavs and Celtics. This game was one of those games that was not really a blah, but it never really felt like the Cavs were ever threatening to take the lead. To me, this is the worst kind of blowout because if there is a traditional blowout, then the team that's losing just straight up loses and you know that they're not going to win. But in a game like this, it's like being strangled by a turtleneck. It just is a slow and painful death. I mean, eventually the Celtics pulled away like we knew that they would, but somehow the Cavs just kept hanging around like 12 to 15 points. And it's just like, eh, and it just felt like it was more drawn out than it needed to be. I don't know that the rest of the games in this series will come out much differently. Uh, I know the Cavs obviously play a lot better at home than they do on the road, so I expect them to improve their level of play once they get there. I said Celtics in six, but the way they played in game one is looking very sweep-like. I'll hold my judgment until the rest of the series goes on, but initial impressions have me thinking that the Celtics are going to sweep. I'll stick with my prediction though, still think Celtics in 6. Next up, Mavericks and Thunder. Another one where you're not really sure if the Thunder are just going to take it to the Mavs or not, but if you remember, they also came out flat against the Clippers in their first round series. So the Mavericks have shown that they are able to bounce back. Also, Luka Doncic has been going through this weird stretch of games where he hasn't been his normal self. He's been playing like anything but the Luka that we know. And I'm not really sure what's going on. It goes without saying that the Mavericks need him and his production to have any hope in this series. So he needs to figure out something. He needs to figure it out quick. Because otherwise, the Mavericks will be going home sooner than later. They showed some fight for most of the game. But similar to the other game, it was like, yeah, they were kind of fighting. But it never really felt like they were threatening to take the lead. Now this one was a little bit more hype than the Celtics game only because it felt like the crowd is really into it. I mean obviously the Celtics, they've been here, done that. So a second round win is kind of a necessity and not really a want at this point. For the Thunder, they really want to win this second round series. They haven't had this kind of playoff success in years. So for them, any type of playoff success is a huge boost to them and their team. So for that alone, I'll say this game was a little bit more exciting, but in terms of a competitive aspect, both games were kind of meh. Hopefully we get more fireworks in both of these game twos.